Okay, this is Google SketchUp. I'm going to try and quickly use, make a quick bridge. I'm holding the Control Middle Mouse button and Alt Middle Mouse button and Shift Middle Mouse button to pan left, right, up, and down. Okay, so first things first, we're going to create a bridge. That should be okay. And I'm just going to divide it in two. The midpoint, straight down. Midpoint again. Midpoint. Midpoint. Midpoint again, and so on. And we will just divide it. Okay, so we'll create an arc from this point, maybe. Click and center. lines, construction lines. If we don't remove the construction lines, they would appear in the build of the model. quick bridge. Now we're just going to press pull and extrude it like this. So there we have a basic, basic bridge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift middle mouse button and I will Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just create a line from here to here. And just delete that line. Shift the middle mouse button and delete that line. So press pull this one up. here so they're the same height. So there we have a quick easy bridge. Okay if we wanted to make these longer here we could. Let's push pull again. Spaces here. And I think it's make it a group or make a component. And we can click move here. We can move it up. Yeah, so it's not the load plane. Now we're going to add materials, windows, materials, and we will create Okay, and I just see a few construction lines here I'm going to delete. Oops, actually, they're not construction lines, I think. Um, 
let's explode for a moment. We want to export this now. Export 3D model. I'm just going to put on my desktop for the moment. Create a new folder. New folder. New models. And bridge. options. <clears throat> yeah, should be okay. And export. And we have a new folder here. And there is our bridge. Okay. Move back into SketchUp. Control S. And I'm just going to keep them all together on the desktop. So now what I'm going to do is bring that into Unity. So I'll just minimize the screen here. I'm going to have to bring the DAE file and the texture. Drag and drop into assets. And I'm just going to create a terrain. drag it in. Actually we'll just make sure we have it set here to 0 0.03 generate colliders and apply. And now when I drag in my bridge just F to frame or focus there is our quick and easy bridge. And what we might do is just put in control Now again, there's no light in the scene, it's all dark. Now I'm just going to just click in here in game, maximize and play, back into the scene. And I'm going to throw in a skybox and a light. A skybox. Shouldn't take too long. And just drag that image, the sky we want over here, 
choose this one here, left click, drag and drop. And Alt, Middle Mouse button, same as schedule. And we're going to put in a directional light. And just position ourselves underneath. Try and find the sun in the actual sky. Lens flare, 50 mil. E to rotate. And just position that exactly where the sun is in the picture. That should be okay. So now we press play, we'll have a little bit more light in the scene. And we can go underneath the bridge. Okay. Let's click on here on the bridge. Again, we can do a more detailed model in SketchUp One. Let's quickly how we build an asset, an asset bridge, and throw it into a scene. So what I might try and do next is just click on here and okay. I think in here we go to the views. This. Now again, I don't really have great We could use Crazy Bump to generate a, uh, a normal or specular map here. For the moment, I'm just going to use this. As you can see down here, it makes it a little bit more bumpy. So when we click play, You get this effect. Now again, Crazy Bump would be better for doing this because it would create the exact bumps of the stone. So again, we can change the settings of this. A little bit darker, so it should be not as harsh and looks kind of wet. 